Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the circle command in Rhino. And a circle command is nice um, whether you're drawing maybe a fire pit or a patio. But when you initiate the circle command in Rhino, so if I just type in circle, hit enter, um, like I mentioned, this second sort of toolbar appears with different options. Uh, for example, this is a command that we will be using the different ways um, to initiate different types of circles. So, for example, the standard way to draw a circle when you press enter is through radius form. So we can um, draw uh, through, you can see the point is in the middle. When I drag out, this will be in radius and we can either um, draw it manually or we can enter uh, let's say five feet and enter and this would be a 10 foot diameter circle. Um, another way to do a command is for example if we have if we want to fit a circle within two points and we type in circle we can select this two point circle which is basically saying that I want um, I'll specify one side of the circle and then a second side of the circle. So if I click on the two point circle, I can now draw a line between two segments. Or for example, if you wanted to create a diameter circle um, and you don't really know the radius, let's say it's, it's an odd number to fit into a specific sort of measurement, you can use the two point to develop a diameter circle in Rhino. And um, with Rhino and either for PC users or for Mac users, you can see that when my when my ortho mode is turned off, this point I can select anywhere around the circle. But if I turn on ortho mode, you can see that it locks into place. Now you don't always have to go down and select ortho mode. Um, you can turn off ortho mode, but if you hold shift down, so for example, I'm not holding shift, but the moment I hold shift, it locks the cursor into place. So if you're holding shift and you want to toggle ortho mode, you could do that as well. Um, another way to draw a circle in Rhino is, for example, if you um, if you need to draw within three, say, um, three edges of lines, and we type in circle, we'll want to select the three-point circle. And you could do that either by clicking on the um, hyperlink up here, or because the O is underlined, you can simply just type in O, enter, and it's going to ask um, like the sequence of commands. So specify the first point, specify the second point, and specify the third point or the last point. And now you have a circle that fits between um, three segments of lines. So that is how you create circles in Rhino.